Welcome back to Outdoor Beards, where today we're cutting it off. I'm just kidding, we're not really cutting it off. That doesn't make any sense. I'm not quite sure why I even joked about that. I kind of feel bad. Were you guys worried? Were you concerned for my beard? I was concerned for my beard. What we are going to do today is a full trim. I don't want to keep you here too long, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Ready? Here we go. First thing we got to do, let's take a look at our before picture. Oh, wrong picture. Oh, look, he's so cute. All right, so this is what we're working with. Basically, this thing has gotten a little bit bushy for me. So we're going to be trimming down the sides here and here, trying to make those into a little bit more of a straight line. We're going to be taking some off the bottom and making sure we keep this curve here on the side of the beard. I don't want it to be just a block, like a flat straight line on the bottom. I want to have a nice curve to it, but I do like my beard to be a little bit wider at the bottom. Now, looking at this from the side view, I'm actually very happy with the way this shape is here underneath my beard. Also, this little bulge here that's on the back, some people don't like having that. I think this is more of a natural look, so I like having it there and I'm going to go ahead and leave it. On the front side of the beard, the only thing we're really going to be doing here is just trimming off some of the stragglers that just kind of tend to stick straight out. Before we start trimming, we got to wash. Anytime you go to trim your beard, you need to trim it while it's styled. Do not trim your beard while it's wet. Don't trim your beard when it's all fuzzy and frizzy and all over the place. If you trim your beard without styling it first, you're gonna end up taking off stuff that you shouldn't, or maybe not taking off stuff that you should, and then when you do go to style it, it could look totally different than what you were expecting. On to the main event. We're gonna be using Beardscape beard trimmers today. I'll have links in the description below for all the products that I'm using, so if you want to get the same stuff I have, it'll be there. I'm starting with the second smallest attachment. I believe it's 6mm. Now I like to start off by trimming the sides of the beard first before I get to the bottom. When you thin up the sides of your beard, it can actually give you the illusion of a longer beard. You don't want to follow your cheek line or your jaw line because obviously that's going to curve the beard in. Now in my case, I'm wanting to have straight sides, maybe with a small flare at the bottom to help give it that wide appearance, but for the most part, it's going to be straight. And this takes a little bit of finesse. Go slow, take very small cuts. Remember, you can always take more off, but putting more back on takes a lot of time. Now I'm moving on to the smallest attachment, and I use this attachment for right around my ears, basically from where my sideburns would start to the bottom of my ear. I'm just gonna crop that in a little bit closer in that section. Then finally, I'm gonna remove the attachment, and this is where you have to be really careful, because at this point, if you twitch, it's gonna be a really bad scenario. So again, I can't emphasize this enough, go slow. All I'm doing here is free floating with that blade, helping to get that line nice and straight. Now moving on to the front of the beard, I'm staying away from the bulk of my hair and just trying to catch those little flyaways that are kind of sticking straight out. And this doesn't take very many passes, it's a quick step. Starting on the bottom of the beard, we're going to lean our head back just a little bit, not a lot, I'm talking maybe 10 degrees, and decide where you're going to make that first cut, and then slowly work your way back towards the back of the beard. You're not going to be able to do this in one swipe. Once you have that center cut through, it's kind of giving you a starting place, and then you're going to work towards the outside of your beard. I'm going to cut the entire bottom of my beard in a nice straight line, and then I'm going to trim the corners in order to give it that little bit of a rounded look. Every once in a while you want to stop, grab your comb. This gets out all those hairs that have been cut but haven't fallen out of the beard. They kind of get tangled in there. You want to get the, all those out. Because visually, it's going to look like something's not quite right, when it actually is, you just have these hairs laying in your beard. At this point, we're going to go ahead and move on to the cheek line. For this, I have this really small buzzer. I've had this thing forever. I don't like using it for trimming my beard. But for the cheek line, it's really nice because it has a small profile. So you can get a curve in there. When you have something with a big tooth profile, say a wall trimmer or the beardscape even, that wide profile makes it really difficult to get a nice curve on your cheek line. I'm using this trimmer just to get the line in place. I'm gonna pull out a razor and actually shave that cheek line in. I use this on my neckline as well. Because my beard is long enough, it covers up my neck. I don't actually have to shave the neckline. 
We're gonna jump into the mustache here. Because I have curly hair, I can't really have a large mustache. It curls too much, it goes all over the place, and it really doesn't look good. So I keep my mustache trimmed pretty short, and really all I'm doing here, I'm gonna take a set of scissors, and I'm gonna trim following my lip line. Trimming the mustache varies so much because there's so many different styles of mustaches. So I'm not gonna to go too in depth on trimming the mustache. I definitely recommend that you use scissors instead of buzzers. It's a lot less likely you're gonna make some sort of mistake that might end up making you shave. And for a finishing touch, we're gonna to go ahead and pull out the razor. We're gonna get a nice solid cheek line by shaving the stubble that the buzzer left over. I keep telling myself at some point I'm gonna buy a straight razor to do this, and eventually I will do that and I'll put a video up on it, but at the moment this is what I have, so this is what I'm using. Last but not least, we're gonna take our trusted wood comb and comb this thing out. Now we can take a look at our before and after pictures. If you see in the before, my beard is much wider, it's quite a bit bushier, it doesn't have that sleek look. Having the trimmed sides with the long bottom is something you can even have in a business setting because it looks professional. Hey, it appears I lost my outro footage, so it looks like you guys are going to have to suffer through some cute images of my little boy. Now I know there's a bunch of ways to trim a beard. Don't use this as a rule book, just use it as a guide. This is really just to show you how to trim the different parts of your beard, so you can take these concepts and apply it in your own trimming. Thank you so much for watching guys. Let me know if you liked the video by giving me that thumbs up. We've got a whole bunch of stuff coming down the pipe here at Outdoor Beards. So hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of it. And if there's something specific you would like to see, let me know in the comments. I really do hope that you found this video useful. Thanks for being a part of the Outdoor Beards family. And as always, stay bearded my friends.